Hello summoners and summonettes, Gordon here, and for today's video I'm going to change it up and instead of do a full game commentary, I actually just want to kind of address a topic or talk about something that I really just don't know the answer to and I kind of want to get your guys' opinions on it, where uh, is trying to teach someone in solo queue flaming or being toxic? Because I've been noticing a lot this season more than any other season when I try and explain my thought process to somebody in lower elos, because as you all know, I have a ton of freaking accounts. I have like six, seven, eight accounts. I don't even know. There's too many of them. But every season I have to get them back to diamond so I can basically just get that border and never play on them again. And on this account right here, I'm climbing, and this was about a mid-plat game. And we'll go over what happens in this game, but I try to give Fiora... It's not even criticism, it's just I'm explaining my th thought process of my the play I made right here. And then she just flamed me the entire game. She threatened to AFK, and I was just like, what the heck? Like, we actually made a good play, so I'll just get right into it. She pings me at work, doesn't have flash, she duked it out with him, level 1 until death, basically. And it just happened, I finished my two buffs, it was able to come top, boom, free kill. She has no flash, you know. I take the kill. And I don't try and push, I queue a little bit, but the wave's pushing into her, I'm like, you know what? That's perfect. Boom. We got a free kill, and then I gotta do my Gromp. I have Smite up, so I'm gonna top off off that, and then I'm typing to her right now. If Warwick teleports back, I'm going to come gank him again, because then you'll have teleport advantage, and we're gonna kill him again, to be honest, because he's a Warwick without Flash, and I knew their Ivern had started red, so I knew he wasn't gonna be on that side of the map at all for a potential counter gank. I see Warwick, I come back, immediately gank him again, and it was kind of a sloppy gank because I didn't want to get feared, I didn't want to, have to blow my flash right here, so I kind of played back. Luckily she had a really nice uh, repose there on the fear to stun the Warwick. We get the kill. Here's what happens. You get the kill, Warwick has no flash, no teleport, your wave's already pushing, she has like 10 health. She's not really going to want to stick around too long to try and push this next wave that's coming. So I start, you know, pumping all my skill shots into this wave to try and get it pushed. And right now she's just, look, not even, not even hit, helping push. The flame is just beginning. What are you doing? What the fuck? Stop pushing. Blah, 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 blah. Explicative, explicative. And I'm just sitting here pushing the wave. And then I go, good job. He's really screwed now. And she goes, do that again and I will AFK the game. And I was just like, what is your problem? Like... Look at the lead we have right now. We have a thousand gold lead. Unfortunately, I took both kills, but if we can look at the uh, gold, I don't even know how to look at gold on this new interface. Ah, uh, how do we look at gold? Hmm. I wish I knew how to look at gold. That's awkward. I want to try and look at the gold differentials. But, uh. So. But we get two kills. She's level four. Warwick's level two. And she's flaming me. Like, you took. 10 CS from me, push two waves in, why would you do this to me? And I'm like, we're both level 4 right now, he lost about a wave and a half to the turret in experience. I'm 2-0 now, so I don't really need to help you, but I can come back and get free kills again if I want to. And she's just like, you are such a shitty player, and I'm just like, sorry, I'm just trying to, you know, give you my thought process being a master player, and she's like, oh Frick you, dude. You're not a master player. You suck. Your path is awful. She just goes on and on. And of course, you know, I'm not one to shy away from a flame battle, especially when I know I'm right on the topic. So the whole game, just we spent on and off flame each other. Whenever anyone made a mistake, it was just like, you're not a master player. You suck. And I'm like, ha, huh, you were dying last season. You probably got boosted. You're at 32% win rate right now this season. So it's pretty bad, but I just want to know your guys' thought process of like, does it annoy you when someone when someone tries to coach you in League of Legends? Sure, like if they're on the same elo as you, maybe they don't have the uh, the opinion or opinion that you should listen to. But when someone's rocking a KDA like this in the elo that you're playing as, I'd like to say they're probably not at that elo and they're at least a division higher. I ended up doing most damage in this game. Fjord actually ended up playing really well this game, and was a pretty nice split push threat because of what had happened, but 
it was just like, why is all this flame happening? I would understand if like we were losing maybe, but going 2-0 in like the first four minutes and getting me snowballing and she still has a level advantage and whatnot, I was just like, I don't understand. So, kind of curious to uh, hear you guys' thoughts on the, the whole topic and whatnot and if you like the video go ahead and throw a like i'll have all my other social media such as twitch twitter and facebook and i guess i'll put the runes and masteries down below for this game and uh that's those guys i'll see you all next time if you enjoy my content consider subscribing to my channel and if you do make sure to go to the notifications tab and accept send all notifications to the channel to never miss a video